going on people it's the xbox 448 and today guys i want to talk about xbox and e3 now i know we are really close we are a little over a week away from e3 and a lot of people are putting out predictions and all that good stuff i know uh even the next podcast on this channel last week we did our predictions on e3 when it came to xbox sony and nintendo but i want to go a different route i want to go and talk to you about things i want to see from xbox at e3 and um first things first you guys know and it, it seems that there's going to be no halo 6 kind of like that gorilla 400 pound gorilla in the room right now no halo 6 this year so what i want to see from them is i want to see a multiplayer beta be released for halo 6 multiplayer this year and um the reason why i think they can do this is uh if you look at halo 5 any of the complaints for halo 5 were not the multiplayer like at their core it was all about the story so if they are taking their time on working on something when it comes to halo 6 it's definitely going to be the story side of things so i feel like the multiplayer is fine um it's, it's being developed well and and throw it out there let people know you know that the multiplayer is is, is doing well and if we're not getting that halo 6 that i i thought we should get this year then then at least throw out the beta um other things like i'm looking forward to that i know we are gonna see is uh the smaller title ashen i i am really excited uh the more and more i see this game in terms of you know little bits and pieces of gameplay and stuff like that the more and more i want to get more details on this game now it's supposed to release this year so i want to see uh details and i want to see a solid release date for ashen um I want to see Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. I'm, I'm hoping that it's on the Xbox stage because you know that stage it, they go live on on Sunday, and I want to see um, exactly what that game is about. I will let you guys know I didn't get into Witcher 3, and the only reason why I didn't get into that is because I'm not a big fan of that environment. But if you give me some sci-fi, uh, punkish type setting and characters and stuff like that um if that's something that's right up my alley so i am really excited to see what cd project red has uh you know has developed for us when it comes to cyberpunk 2077 and of course anthem as you guys can see right here the gameplay going is destiny 2 and i think that anthem being kind of like a similar game to the destiny franchise and stuff like that it, it has the possibility to pull me away from this game for a while and I still get like grinding for gear and stuff like that you know a, a game that is similar um it looks really good uh from what we've seen so far in terms of the graphics and stuff I, I can't wait to get more details on it and um that's one of the things we know we are gonna see from Xbox at E3 now something we can almost guarantee or something i want to see and it's something that you know maybe a lot of people won't say they want to see is uh a another list of backwards compatible titles and since it's e3 i mean they got to come out with some classics that are going to xbox one and the first one in my mind is um ninja gaiden 2 ninja gaiden 2 is one of my favorite games kind of like all time even better than the first one in my opinion and like i said that is my opinion because i know there will be people in the comment section you know uh telling me why the first one was better or whatnot but i i feel like games like that they they can announce it on the stage that you know they're going to backwards compatibility and i'm not talking like backwards compatibility like six months down the line if they do a list like this it's got to be it's got to be pretty much ready you know what i'm saying in, in my opinion that's the way i feel if you're going to go backwards compatible titles they got to be ready kind of like as the show ends in, in my opinion that's that's what i'm saying i mean i would be excited either way but i feel like if you're going to go backwards compatibility you gotta put those games out there like right after the show or whatnot um ori 2 as well ori is one of those games that uh 
I feel when we look back on this generation, it's going to be one of those games that is a kind of like generational game, beginning of a franchise and stuff like that. And I'm excited to, to get information about Ori 2 and the Will of the Wisps. Because I feel um, they showed you know, like little bits and pieces, but no real kind of like gameplay. And I can't wait to see, you know, exactly how hard this game is going to be. Uh, what they did, you know, in terms of either improvements or changes, you know, that to come into a sequel. Um, I'm just excited to see more. I want to I wanna see more. It's one of my favorite games this generation. And I, I can't wait to see what they have in store for the sequel. Um, a couple things here, you know, and, and I know they're going to show other things. They have a two-hour show. But I really want to get to kind of like my point of this video and it's it's two things that i want to see personally from xbox and this is with no rumors no nobody telling me that they're gonna it's just something that i feel they should do right first thing is they need to dip into their what i call their legacy collection uh exclusive games that were on the og xbox they need to either Bring them back with reboots or do sequels. Games like Crimson Skies. Games like there was a there was a fighting game called uh, Tao Fang back in the day. Um, I know I know my boy K Mega knows about that game. You know, there's a couple of others out there that know about it as well. I feel like it would it would really hold a place um, this generation moving forward. They they have a bunch of titles that they can uh, bring back either with reboots and bring them to this generation. Or do sequels and, and you know, just really uh, bring them up to speed and, and into what's going on with gaming today and really create um, immersive uh, single player and multiplayer experiences with these classic titles. I, I, I feel like that's something um, they could do and it's something, in my opinion, that they really should do. And then the final thing. This is the, the biggest thing to me. This is something I'm going to be looking for at this year's E3 conference when it comes to Xbox, you got to you got to tease the future of your platform, all right? I know Phil Spencer came out and said, you know, he believes in showing, you know, basically that 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 next year, the games that are coming out and a little beyond that next year. But I think you got to go further than that. You can't go 12 um, to 18 months and that's it. You got to show that there are games in development that will be out two years from now, three years from now, even if it's just the name put up on the screen, kind of like to end the show. And yes, I am talking about Fable in this instance, but also, um, you know, the, the Perfect Dark reboot. You got to let gamers know that, yeah, there are games coming out this year, but then, you know, moving beyond that. There, there is a future to the platform and I, I have said this time and time and time again I hope um, you know Team Xbox and Phil Spencer have, have listened when it comes to this whole situation because I feel like this is something they definitely need to do but other than that like I said it's a two hour show they're going to be showing a bunch of stuff I'm excited uh, I want to see exactly what they show I want to see uh, again like I said certain things that I feel they should do i want to see if they do them but i also want them to do things that i didn't even think of so i want to be surprised as well i'm excited for the show i'm excited for e3 as you know i know a lot of gamers out there are um with this generation being that that generation that um social media has really been uh, a part of the gaming community from the beginning of this generation i know we've seen a lot of negativity i know we've seen you know a lot of bickering and fighting uh console war fanboy bs all, all that stuff throughout this generation but at the end of the day i'm excited as a whole i'm excited as a gamer i want to see what all these companies bring to the table and that's including ea uh bethesda and all, all those guys that are you know not the the big three when it comes to conferences i i, I can't wait to go in and um check out all these shows and yes we will be doing live reactions on this channel so uh if you haven't hit the bell icon and all that good stuff to get notified when when you know videos drop over here definitely do that because 
it's going to be a marathon, you know, starting um, next weekend when it comes to live reactions, uh, when, you know, with these conferences and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm really excited. This is this is an awesome time of year. They call this kind of like the gamers Christmas right here. And um, I'm going in kind of like full speed and I, I can't wait to, to do these live reactions, you know, with the next podcast panel and uh, with you guys. So I, I'm really excited. Um, let me know. Hit up the comments. Let me know what what you want to see from Xbox's EA conference. Let me know if you want to do if you want me to do these uh, kind of like what I want to see. You know, when it comes to Sony, when it comes to Nintendo, and even kind of like Bethesda, EA, and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section. I, I can definitely do those. Um, and let me know like what you're hyped for when it comes to E3. Let me know what conference you're looking forward to the most. Uh, just just let me know let's get some conversations going in the comment section if you like the content you like the gameplay you like the topics you know definitely hit that thumbs up button for me and as usual if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe but as for now this is the Xbox 448 and I am definitely signing off Trying to get demons up out of me. Demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Beast. Deceasing opponents so properly. Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over.